Hey there fellows my name is Rahim and you are watching the everyday talk on YouTube where i use my research knowledge and all the past experience about using the tech to make sure that your tech purchases and your decisions regarding buying tech are made easier and fun so basically today's video is going to be all about my experience or my personal experience with using ipad 9th generation throughout my university life and uh, maybe i should give some hints about using that in the business or we could reserve it for another video so stay tuned in the video today we are going to be talking about that how i have been using ipad 9th generation and all the wonders it had done for me throughout all this in time span where i have been using ipad 9th generation so let's get started Uh, so basically let me start by telling you that i was a guy who was against any kind of tablet from the very start i was a person who was like that just buy a laptop or get a phone a good phone and you could do everything on that but it was around 4 years from now when i started thinking or maybe 5 years from now when i started thinking that what is digital note taking and how all these people are getting into tablets and apple pencil kind of things and digital everything is getting digital what are the advantages of that and why the people are going towards that way that was the time when i started doing some research i found out articles i saw some videos online and i get to find out that yes this is something and this is something important for our environment and it also help us in a way that uh, i am going to be telling you all about that in the coming video which is going to be this one obviously so the thing is that how it helped me how i was just you can say as i was saying it do wonders for me what were these wonders we are going to be talking about all that in this video so first of all the basic reason for buying ipad was that i wanted to get digital with my note taking i just want to get uh, free from all the bag all the bulky bag i carry in the university and just transfer it into a little bag a little hand carry where i could have my ipad and the entire university workflow my books my notebooks and everything related to that was in the little tablet so that was the time when i started doing research and uh, due to the budget constraints at that time i decided to go with the ipad 9th generation so now uh, let's sum up this first part where i have told you that why i buy the ipad 9th generation so now let's talk about that how it helped me So first of all I would really admire it for its note taking and all the things all the help it had given me in throwing away all those big registers and notebooks which I used to carry with me and then it was a, I would literally say that there was some time when I also forget that which subject are going to be on which notebook and in which part and most of the time I ended up losing notes a lot of notes a lot of beautiful notes i must say which i have lost i have spent a lot of time using different markers and different uh, uh, pens and colors i have just wrote down those notes and at the end of the day i found out that i'm not uh, founding them again anymore so basically the ipad solved this issue first of all i bought a app which i am going to be discussing in this video later that which helped me solve all these issues and i was able to manage all my notes it was just one step away i type it out and i got all my notes in front of me about any topic about anything and color coded in a beautiful way and, and i think that's enough for this but once again it also also helped me carry some of the books some of thick books in the pdf form which i could easily read anywhere open anywhere without any you can say all that clutter which was in a big bag before so these are some of the ways it helped me and most importantly it help you guys i must say that it help you guys by saving the environment all the extra you can say paper which was going to be used by cutting down the trees it is getting saved so i am helping myself and i am helping you by using an ipad getting digital with that so if you talk about now i have a lot of accessories related to ipad 9th generation but i started with the three basic ones first one was apple pencil first generation which was capable with ipad 9th generation the apple magic mouse one and apple magic keyboard one now these were all very cheap accessories i must not say cheap these were budget friendly accessories which i started using and at the end of the day they helped me a lot 
when I was home using Apple Pencil, uh, using my magic keyboard and mouse, I was able to create a beautiful desk setup. When in classroom, I was able to take notes, jot down things and underline things in my PDF books using the Apple Pencil first generation. As of now, I am having a Logitech Slim Folio keyboard case. I am having a lot of other cases with me, but I started up with these three basic things and uh, I must say they have done wonders for me, they have opened a lot of new ways for me and using my Apple Pencil first generation I have drawn some beautiful assignments, I have created some beautiful you can say reports using my iPad 9th generation and that magic keyboard one which it, uh, just give me a lot of admiration and a lot of you can say fame in my university at that time which I will be sharing with you in this video ahead. So the people who have been with me from the start of this channel, they know that I have been using this iPad, iPad 9th generation, which is just here in front of me, this beautiful little thing. I have been using it to edit all the notes for me, all the videos for me for this YouTube channel. I'm saying notes, sorry for that. So all the videos on this channel have been shooted on this iPad, this little iPad, the basic one or the budget one. So the beautiful thing is that I have been using a free app for that which was VN or vlog now it is still a free app which you could use and uh, download easily from uh, from the app store so this was one of the app I have been using from the very start and I just got this app after a lot of research because there are a lot of paid apps which do not tell you that they are paid before you buy them and then you get to know that there is a watermark and things like that and second app which I started using was Good Notes 5 that was a paid app I purchased it and I must say that is one of the most perfect most beautiful purchases I have made after this iPad for this iPad so that's a beautiful thing it is a great app it just helped me with a lot of things if you want to know more about that there is a proper video I have created on Good Note 5 I will turn it up in, in the i button up here or here somewhere and in the description so you could go and see it out there so these were some of the few basic apps and then there was a whole Microsoft suite. Sorry Apple but first of all I must say that I deleted all the preloaded apps in the iPad pages and numbers and all the things like that and downloaded the Microsoft apps because my university provided me with free access to all these apps so I was going to be using them and uh, frankly speaking here in Pakistan we have been using the Microsoft suite from the very start since we started using Excel and Word. So we are much familiarized with them. Although the iPad apps are not that much common with the desktop app, but one way or another you get used to them when you start using them. So now last but not the least, I would like to talk about some of the shortcomings of this iPad. So basically you could not say you know that this is a not a top of the line device from Apple. It had a processor which is showing age now. When you open huge PDF files, large books, you find it out that they are uh, they are not lo loading in a proper way there is some clutter sometimes the books suddenly just close and you have to open it up to see that all the work all the annotations all the markings you have been doing on that book are no more there so these are some of the annoying things with the ipad but as as far as my video editing goes i have never seen this ipad showing any such thing there is something you can say when you are editing 4k or 1080p multiple streams you get to know that uh, there is a little bit lag when you drag it out on the vn app which i have been using for video editing but i think so that such a budget friendly device under 300 dollars or you can say even 300 dollars uh, in the sale it is available right now so such a device is providing you with a video editing experience which even some of the windows laptops the very expensive window laptops cannot provide i think so that's enough praise for this alone and you can just live with a little bit of you can say sticking around or stucking around of the os or some things like that so that's all about that so guys that's all from this video now I must say that there are a lot of other alternatives available in the market for such kind of iPad. Some are expensive, some are cheaper, there are some alternatives from Samsung in the Android world. But I must say that if you are getting into digital note taking and you are on a budget and you want to do some mild video editing, you could easily go with the iPad 9th generation. I could just assure you that even the 64 GB storage is also enough for you guys if you want to do some things like taking notes, storing the book and just streaming 
online or even storing some of the files on the device with a little bit of file management you could easily use the ipad 9th generation for your entire workflow if you are on a budget and i must say that this entire youtube channel is standing on the ipad 9th generation i have been editing all the videos in that because i take i have taken this channel as a challenge to make sure that i edit a lot the most of its videos till yet on the ipad 9th generation maybe i would be uh, you can say upgrading to the next generation of the ipad soon but for the time being ipad 9th generation is the entire thing this channel is being standing on and if you want to just see a, more of these videos i must say that kindly subscribe to the channel your subscription would help us grow and then we could bring a lot more content for you guys in the future about more apple devices more devices more tech devices and everything happening around in the tech world so that's all from this video keep on rocking and enjoying the life as much as you can making sure that you use it for some greater cause have a good one